Please forgive. Too many mind. Too many mind? Mind the soul. Mind the people want. Mind the enemy. What's up, world? It's your boy Dre at Samurai Kennel. And we're gonna kick this video off with the information y'all all want. So for those of y'all who are interested in the upcoming September 15th digital dog show, I'm gonna give you the basic details now. And then next Sunday, I will uh, adjust the rule book or whatever to make sure y'all can actually read the rules for those of y'all who like to read the rules and be prepared for what's, what's gonna happen next. So the submissions will be due by, Feb by, excuse me, by September 15th, 2023. I say again, submissions will be due by September 15th, 2023. It is completely free to enter this digital dog show. This will be the last digital dog show that will be free. And we're gonna drop it down to once a quarter. So that means every 90 days, we'll have a digital dog show if we have enough contestants. If I don't have enough contestants, it will be semi-annually, which means that we'll have one in April and one in October in the future however if i got enough people wanting to compete we will definitely run that thing back to four digital dog shows you have to realize i'm completely coming out of my own pocket for these digital dog shows and therefore for the winnings to go up i'm gonna need more participants to get in and we're gonna have to have paid entries for it to be really worth your time now the classes that we did have in the last digital dog show were obviously best in show which was taken by gas and go best male taken by gas and go Best Female, which was taken by Soul Power, a.k.a. Game Duck Kennel. Best Black Dog, Brother Crockett got that one. Best Buckskin, went to Brother JT. Best Brindle, went to Brother O'Neal. And Best Puppy, went to Brother O'Neal. Now, one of the classes that I didn't have in the last show that I plan on adding to this show is Best Red Dog. And that's red, no, red, red nose, or a red dog with a with a black nose, kind of like that Mayday look, that brownish red, rusty color look. That's fine too. Um, additionally, we had best condition, and I've also asked uh, the, the, the Shogun Army, and they've agreed. We voted on Wednesday Night's Live that we're going to have the Shogun's Choice, and that award will not only get uh, the prize, but they'll win uh, a, a, a a little sample pack from the uh, Shogun Army. We'll, we'll throw some hide, like you see in the video right here. I'll throw a hide in there and maybe a free t-shirt for that uh, for that winner along with the money. Keep in mind, submissions will be the same way as the last show. However, I got some adjustments to make. First and foremost, I will not be doing any editing to your video. What you send me is what I'm posting. So if you don't have editing skills, that's, that could hurt you because literally you, you remove the handling aspect of it but you bring in the need to be able to effectively uh, post a, a, a good video. But that's on you as the owner. That's on you as, as, as the digital handler, that's what we call it, you know. Um, there are correlations there though, but showing your dog in the best light matters about angles. Uh, I'll give you a secret. The bully guys like to take their dogs and show them with the camera below their chin so it makes the dog look bigger and more grand, all right? I'm not telling you to do like the bully guys doing, but I'm telling you those guys are experts in marketing. They even hide some of the faults of their dogs in the pictures they take. So if you're trying to win, man, you need to, you need to campaign appropriately. Additionally, you win based upon popular opinion, not based upon a singular judge's vote. The only category that will be picked by an actual judge will be the Shogun's Choice. So all the other categories are picked by people literally going in and saying, we want entry number one or we want entry number two for whatever, whatever uh, vote they want. All right. So campaigning benefits you. Because if you get grandma, auntie, mama, cousin, brother, sister, whatever, to go in and vote for your dog, then you get a great opportunity to, or a better opportunity of winning. And what this also does, it brings views to the channel because I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a, this is a, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're giving an opportunity to win free money and I'm giving an opportunity to, to push my, my platform further. It's very simple. And it, that, that's the gimmick to it, man. I know a lot of y'all were skeptical before, but I've seen a lot of a lot of messages and a lot of uh, a lot of feedback on it. A lot of people want to get entered in there, so I'm giving you approximately 15 weeks from today to basically get it together. That gives you three weeks to kind of figure it out and ask questions, and then that gives you an additional 12 weeks to uh, to go ahead and condition and get your videos in by September 15th. Uh, the earliest I'll take videos will be uh, August 15th. 
because what's gonna happen is like last like last time people were midway through their keep sending me videos and then asking for updates uh once you submit it uh depending on how many people there are it depends on how much uh leniency i give on that but once you submit the dog and you have a number that's that dog's number uh unless i just have time to go back and make those edits so please uh do your due diligence and uh do your keep however you do your keep and make sure that you uh you got that set up appropriately uh, one of the things that I did do that I didn't have in last uh, comp that I would do one in this comp is uh, a basic description of your dog and bloodline if you know it so that we can put that out there because another thing that this digital dog show does is it allows you to uh, broadcast your stuff to the to the general public about what bloods are, are looking good and good representations of the breed and it allows you to uh, put that best foot forward for your specific line even if you want to give a general description about what your line brings uh, and I'll give you an example uh, my line, I'm, I'm prideful on a on a, a heavier, a more mouthy dog. I would say a above average to decent mouth on my um, on my dogs specifically. So, if you want to share that, just make sure you're safe, reliable, and in accordance with the law. Because I'm not here to get nobody not. Uh, the goal is to enjoy the dogs and enjoy them in their best light. And that bulldog in them can bite. You know what I'm saying? So we just want to. I just want to share that portion with y'all. But. Uh, Know what, you, know what you bring to the table, and when somebody's asking to add something from your from your program to their program, uh, it would be nice to have some details about that in the video. Another thing that I've been seeing is on Facebook, man, these brothers have been campaigning hard. Shouts out to the brother JTR for creating an entire page. If you haven't seen that page, uh, follow JT Yard on YouTube, and also we, we plugged it in on Wednesday Night's Live, so go back and watch the live. Uh, but it's a it's a great opportunity for you to get out there and show your dogs in a positive light. It keeps you abreast to uh, all the upcoming information. And also, he posts a lot of pictures and videos from the last digital dog show. Additionally, the champion right now is Gas and Goes Demon, as well as uh, Soul Power, aka Gained Up Kennels Lady May. In order to take the number one or number two spot, they they will automatically be re-entered from their last submission unless they enter new videos themselves. But in order to take the championship. In my digital dog show, you must beat the reigning champion. So we're doing it kind of like, um, kind of like how uh, boxing would go. Like you know, uh, once somebody has a title, they, they 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 keep the title until somebody beats them. So uh, yeah, big ups to those brothers and good luck to the dogs who are competing. I saw a post by uh by a kennel that I really I really rock with, man. Weedy boy, Weedy boy said, uh, "Gas and go, he coming for you." You know, so um, y'all make sure y'all condition these dogs safe and uh, make sure y'all treat them pads. Make sure you warm them out good. And get your feeding plan right. However you work them is how you work them. Uh, for those of y'all who have never done a keep before, hit up hit up one of these guys who, with dogs that look like you want your dogs to look, and uh, see if they'll share that information with you. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't, but you'll never know if you don't ask. Um, I'll share some basic information on my keep with y'all if you ask. You know, if y'all want it, you uh, you privately message me or whatever. But uh, that's more so on you to to come up, kind of come up with the best way to get your dog in shape for a digital dog show. Uh, like the brother Pelican Bay said, Pelican Bay said when he hosted the last one, these dogs ain't just come off the chain like that. You know, uh, somebody had to put in some work and somebody had to somebody had to really uh, do their thing with it. Oh, and while I got y'all here, so I, I, I'm looking this up on my phone as I do this uh, this uh, overview or this voiceover, and it is Top USA A P B T apostrophe S. That is Top Capital. T is in Tango, capital O is in Oscar, capital P is in Papa, space, capital U is in Uniform, capital S is in Sierra, capital A is in Alpha, space, capital A is in Alpha, capital P is in Papa, capital B is in Bravo, capital T is in Tango, an apostrophe, or that's like a comma, but at the top of the word, and then another capital S is in Sierra, that is top USA Pit Bulls. And that is the channel created by on Facebook by Brother JT Yard. Additionally, there's another channel on Facebook that I highly encourage y'all to follow. And it's called the Dog Man's TV Guide, created by Elevated Kennels. Shouts out to Elevated Kennels. What it basically does is it's a place to go ahead and drop lives or streams that are upcoming so that everybody in the dog world can get in there and kind of follow it just like a TV guide or like the guide on your cable network. So these brothers are really putting in work and making it very easy to aggregate a lot of this information so you can get it all in one place. All you gotta do is click a button, it's free to subscribe, it's free to like. Also, if you're watching this video and you're still under the sound of my voice and you haven't liked, followed, or subscribed to this video, what are you doing? Leave a comment as well as to how we can make things better for you or if there's more classes to be added. And keep in mind, I'm the Shogun and my army, the Samurai Kennel Shogun Army, 
we uh we make moves as we see fit. So if y'all want more classes, talk about more classes. One of the things that uh, was mentioned in the in uh, Wednesday night's live was coming up with uh, digital slap mill and uh, drag sprint races. Now the only thing about that that I'm having issues with is making it fair. So uh, if y'all got ideas on that, we'll come up with it and we'll host that for you too. Uh, additionally, y'all know one of my biggest one of my biggest uh, pulls every year is the top ten American Pit Bull Terrier channels. Uh, I do a I do a top ten every year. So I don't typically release those until the end of the year. But what I want y'all to do is this year, I don't want to just be opinion based. What I really need is I need y'all to make sure these votes go up so we get the right person in the number one spot for that. Uh, I'm also going to do the top kennels this year and I'm going to release that at a different time. But we're going to I'm going to take submissions into account for top kennel. We're looking for uh, I can say most dogs, but the most dogs that are consistent. Uh, they have to be a YouTube channel. So if they're on Instagram or Facebook, they're exempted from the YouTube competition, but, um, they can be honorable mentions or we could just mention them in the, in the thumbnails. But, uh, the best YouTube channels with the, with the, with the, with the best husbandry, uh, dogs, care, training, um, conf confirmation to the, to the breed standard. Uh, I want to do a top 10 of that as well this year. I basically want to bring positive light to those doing positive things. And I'm not talking anything negative about those who do negative things, but I just don't support or condone it. And I'm not going to push that forward with my, with my platform. That's it. But y'all already know my brother's in the box. Stay safe. Uh, the, the, the general public and the chattel will never understand why you do what you do. Uh, I do understand it. I just cannot participate because I, I'm, I, I want to be a, I want to be a public citizen, not a private citizen. And that means that I got to forego some of those, some of those, um, some of those things that the private sector can do. All right. But uh, much love and mad respect to you brothers who are doing it the old school way. I just can't participate in that because that, 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 that is not the way. Also, with that being said, none of my dogs are bred, trained, or sold for any illegal purposes. This is why I'm so uh, transparent with it. To show y'all that you can have fun for those of y'all who are square bears like myself. Uh, you can have fun with your dogs just, just doing these things like these digital dog shows and these obedience competitions. Uh, I also have the plans for an obedience, a digital obedience competition as well for those of y'all who like to do obedience work. So if you're interested in that, uh, leave it in the comments because a lot of these things, I'm not going to even bring them off the ground until I see people showing interest in them because what happens is uh, an idea without a, uh, man, what's that thing Sydney Poitier say? Uh, a dream deferred, it dries up like a raisin in the sun or something to that effect, man. And that's what, I'm, that's what I want to do with these ideas. I want to water them effectively and they need to be watered by a collective mind. I also need y'all to apply pressure to GHK, Go All Hard Kennels Reloaded. They are by popular demand requested to be the next host for the next digital dog show. GHK, if y'all hear this message right now, this is a challenge. This is a request. So I need y'all to get a hold of me, man. I need y'all I need y'all to get I need y'all to get with me, man. Because um the people have spoken to y'all who they want for this next digital dog show. I would like for all of the big channels to host a digital dog show at some point because I got mad love and respect for all the big channels, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, seven, eight, and the boys, schoolboy, uh, going hard, fat bill. Uh, y'all about to beat me up for this, but I still rock with Triple J. He, he be saying some things that people don't agree with, but his dog knowledge is that don't take away his dog knowledge, man. Uh, he just Triple J just is on, is on his own path, but uh, yeah, man, every, each his own. But um, I, I, lo I love good bulldogging, man. I love good bulldogging. Now, social issues, do I speak on them? Not typically on my platform, but um, I do have my opinions. And if you want to know my opinions, they are my opinions. And uh, if you ask for my opinion, uh, then I'll share it with you. But at the same time, don't ask for my opinion and then judge me. That's why I keep it to myself. And I feel like some of y'all might learn a lot from that lesson right there. If you got an opinion that you think that you think might be uh, triggering and you decide to share it, that's cool. But just realize if you volunteer that information, you put it out there. And when I'm asked for it, that means you had an inquiry about what I had to say. And if you got something to say about what I had to say that I wasn't going to voluntarily put out there, uh, that's cool. Because I, I mean, like, I, I don't I shouldn't share nothing. I don't want uh, critique. But at the same time, that's 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 that trolling culture stuff. And I don't really play with that trolling culture, that frugazi stuff, you know, Uh it was said last night on the live with, with the brother Pelican Bay on Saturday Night's Live that uh, sometimes there's, uh, there's a time and place for the truth and some people ain't ready to hear it. Uh, I think that's a very true statement and it couldn't rain any truer in today's society than, uh, with, than how the brothers said it on there. But um, yeah, man, I'm excited for y'all. 
Uh, for those of y'all who are coming out to compete, man, I, I'm excited. Just realize though that that uh, there's some there's some heavy hitters on the internet, man. Like I see dogs every day that I'm like I I I don't know if I'll ever be able to condition a dog to that standard, man. I'm telling, and it's and it's people who I've never heard of before, but they be having dogs that look like look like cartoon characters. You know what I'm saying? Look like look like something that was drawn as opposed to something that was made or forged. Uh, but yeah, man, I just wanted to I wanted to get in here and uh, make sure that. Everybody is tracking. The digital dog show is September 15th. Submissions will be taken as early as August 15th, but no later than September 15th. The host that we're requesting is Going Hard Kennels Reloaded. However, there are a lot of big name channels that have offered to host this. But I want to get the people's request in each time. And if I can't get a hold of it, then I, if, and if need be, if nobody wants to host it, I'll host my own, I'll host my own show. But I feel like that's like a self-looking lollipop, and we not really into that self-looking lollipop crap, Paul. Um, I think it's better for us to get together and really spread the wealth. Also, for the other channels, I want to make it known that if you want to host your own digital dog show, man, I'm not one of the brothers that's, 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 trying to, that's, trying to, that's trying to put a monopoly on the game, man. Some of y'all have a different following than I have. And if you want to do it, man, I don't feel no kind of way about it. Because honestly, this idea, the original idea came from Captain's True Game uh, true game dogs I messaged Captain to make sure he was cool with me doing that the first one and uh, it's something that I really enjoy he did it due to, due to COVID when you couldn't get out the house but after going to a real ADBA dog show and seeing how difficult it is to get the dog there and manage the dog and uh, pay all that money I realized that the same $350 I spent to go to, to, go to Houston um, once it starts becoming a charge to the dog show uh, for a 25, 20, you know, 20, 25 dollar entry fee is nothing in comparison to having to drive, condition the dog, all that good stuff. You can just, you know, what I'm saying, make it happen right there, right there from the from the backyard. So uh, for those of y'all who don't want to pay those prices, that's cool. But eventually, it's gonna it's gonna end up going up, starting at probably about 20, 25 dollars for the next one. Uh, and I'm putting that information out there right now. But um, if your dog wins, it goes in the stud book, and it's like it's gonna be like the Billboard Awards. So. Your dog will go in the stud book at the top of the billboards, and until it's beat, it'll stay on the billboards. And uh, that's how we're gonna rock it. Now, for the fun shows or the fun classes, those will be entries every time. So there's no reigning champion for best condition. Like, you, you, you best condition one time, and then uh, if you wanna win it again, you gotta come back in and enter, enter it in and win it again. Um, also, uh, if you wanna enter multiple classes for this one, it's free. So if your dog is a black dog that you wanna enter for best female and best black dog, you need to state that so I can give you a number for both of those competitions. But in the future, when we have fun shows, you'll pay for best female and you'll pay for entry for best condition or so on and so forth or best black dog, right? So I'm letting y'all know ahead of time how it's going to work. So if you want to get in for free, now is the time to do it. Get in on the ground floor, establish yourself. And by golly, if you win best male or best female, then you can stay in there for free and keep taking everybody money until somebody beats you. Once again, like we said, we don't do... Uh, we don't judge any of the dogs. We let the public judge the dog. So, if, if, if public opinion, if you don't like what public opinion is, then that's between you and the public because maybe you need to swap it up or look, or look to add some of what's winning to your to your stock to make your stock more like that. Or keep doing what you're doing and find a following that will come support you and have your own beehive. Because all of y'all who are constant supporters, my Jeff Smiths, my Marquand 1988s, the whole Samurai Army. You know what I'm saying? The, the big bros that come through, like, that is that is the Samurai Sh Kennel Shogun Army. That's my legion. You know what I'm saying? I look at it like how Beyonce got the beehive. The, Sam the Shogun Army will destroy y'all. Y'all come on here and say some recklessness. You know what I mean? Brother M1, Brother Big A, uh, 601, Soul, JT Yard. You know, man, them, brother them brothers ain't here to play no games with y'all, man. Uh, them boy, them boys, uh, they keep me grounded. They keep me, they keep me, they keep me mentally stable, and they challenge me to be a better, to be a better dog man. You know, Neo, dog man. Let's keep it, let's keep it real, cause um, I feel the real dog man has to be uh, holistically. You have to, be, you have to be able to whoop a, whoop a litter. You have to be a breeder, but you got to be able to go to the box. And I don't have enough experience doing that stuff to, to tell y'all what y'all need, what y'all should and shouldn't be doing. So um, I don't think that's realistic or or fair to the to the powers that be for me to uh, for me to come on here and, and be false claiming. But at the same time, I know what I know, and that's all I know, uh, in the words of Yo Gotti. Uh, in the background right here, y'all, so I want to kind of break it down for y'all and tell a little story about these puppies right here. So the puppy that you see, the, the, my female, she's already been worked. 
she was working earlier this day, so she's tired. She ain't really, she ain't really got no drive right now, but she's trying, you know. But this, this is the male that was brought back. If y'all can see him, he, he's the one with the cow hocks that I was telling y'all I was gonna let go for the low low. But I really starting to like this little puppy man, so I think he might end up staying here if, if no, if nobody, if nobody, if don't nobody right come through for him. But um, he's working, and he he got some mouth, and I just wanted to share that with y'all because uh, he's not. He's not like a defect. Like right now, I'm doing, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing curl arm curls with him, just to kind of show, you know. And uh, yeah, I dropped him. You know what I'm saying? Like my puppies are durable. My dogs are durable. And if they weren't, they wouldn't be. They wouldn't be using my program. I don't really want a dog that can't, that's not durable and can't deal with uh, the hard knock life that he's gonna deal with on my yard. And I, I don't mean I'm abusive or none of that stuff, man. What I mean is like when I play with my dogs, I want to play rough, and my dogs are rough and 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 rambunctious. And they got, they got, pray, at least they got prey drive. If my dogs ain't got nothing else, they got prey drive, mouth, and they look pretty. That's, that, that is, that is unequivocally true. And anybody who, anybody who refused that, you know, uh, show what you got. You know what I mean? Show what you got. Come on to Wednesday Night Live. Like, uh, I put the link in the chat every Wednesday, you know, but, um, yeah, man, like this little, this little red nosed male, man. I even told my wife, I was like, man, you know, um, uh, Unless the right person come along and and they and they really want to husband him, uh, he he gonna end up staying here, man. Like they uh, the, the guy the guy who the guy who said he, he wouldn't work out, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what what he uh, I'm gonna show you what he gonna do. They said the same thing about Saki when Saki was 12 weeks old. I accidentally stepped on his leg in the same spot where these puppies are playing with this uh flirt pole at, and they said cull him. You know it ain't where they ain't worth the money, cull him, and uh. Yeah, man. Uh, it cost me over four, oh, just a little under fourteen hundred dollars to get to get Saki repaired, and since then Saki has brought me so much uh, entertainment, so much liveliness. And even before he had puppies, uh, Saki was like my, my centerpiece, like you know my demo, my demo dog. And people have bought so many hides and so many shirts and different things from my site just off of coming here to support me. That uh, that 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 surgery was paid for a long time ago, you know. So. Uh, that's one. That's one of the great things about this YouTube community is the fact that you meet great people who are willing to to support you and help you accomplish your goals. So I do want to say thank you to all y'all who are, all those who are watching. And uh, if you're if you're if you're not a if you're not a subscriber, uh, that's cool. But it's it's free and it costs you nothing. So don't be a hater. But um, yeah, man, this puppy right here, he is working, man. He is he is working, you know. And uh, I really enjoy I really enjoy this little guy. The only thing I don't like about him is he is really loud. Like he screams all the time when he wants attention, man. Uh, the rest of my dogs are really quiet, and that's not a trait of, of that. Uh, my Frisco uh, Spike stuff, all, most of those dogs are really quiet. Even Saki and the female that's in the video with them, and uh, most of the rest of the litter are they're, they're typically quieter dogs. They can be vocal when they want to play, but he is like that 24/7, uh, 365. But um, he's a uh, He's actually a really traditional dog. Like if I, if I was a box man, um, not saying that, not saying that you can see any any real gameness to, to a puppy, but I would say he's showing the signs of a dog that would have those traits. Like um, he does show the, uh, a little bit more animal aggression than some of the other puppies. Um, he uh, he even he he would even try to hit Saki through the fence if Saki get too close. You know, it's uh, he's he's, he's really he's, I guess I guess is what you would call hot. Uh, those of y'all who are, who are real dog men, you know what I'm saying? Y'all maybe correct me on my terminology, but he's a pretty hot little puppy in my opinion. Um, but yeah, man, I just want to share that with y'all. And uh, this, I've been talking long enough. I've been talking y'all your head off. Uh, Samurai Kennels, we over and out. I appreciate you. See you, next, uh, see you Wednesday night. Uh, ha ha. I'ma roll it up and I light it up. I need another one. So put some more in my cup. I just need another one. I'ma roll it up and I light it up. I need another one. So put some more in my cup. I just need another one. 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 I just need another one.